minutes are over. Can we check the return? Yes, in this short video, we are going to demonstrate cardiac arrest in suspected or confirmed COVID-19 case. There are certain considerations you have to take into account apart from normal ACS algorithm when resuscitating a patient with suspected or confirmed COVID-19. Your safety is a priority. Make sure to take the needed time to put on proper PPEs for airborne precautions. This includes a head cover, a mask fit tested N95, a long sleeve gown which is fluid resistant, and gloves. Also, it's very important to minimize the number of personnel entering the room. What leader? Can you bring me about the case? Okay, so the patient has been from immediate SOB and they have this chronic COVID and suspected pneumonia. We know this patient is limited to the activity and they have given one dose of the patient and started sitting on the table. During PLS assessment of suspected or confirmed COVID, check pulse and breathing, avoiding close proximity to the patient. Start chest compressions and apply non-rebreather face mask, avoiding bag mask ventilation. If possible, bring the defibrillator and the required medications inside the room while keeping the crush trolley outside the room to minimize contamination. Anesthesia for the airway. Okay, patient is arrested. Okay, I need uh, uh, anesthesia. Okay, In okay. the management of airway in these patients, there are some important points to consider. One, Avoid using bag mask ventilation and intubate early. Use bacterial filter when bagging these patients. In case you need to bag mask ventilation, use the lowest tidal volume to see the chest rise. Three, avoid suctioning. Four, if available, use video laryngoscope instead of direct laryngoscope. There are a few advantages of using video laryngoscope in these patients. One it decreases the proximity between the operator and the patient. Two, it decreases the duration of the procedures. Three, it decreases the number of attempts to intubate these patients. Two minutes are over. Can we check the return? The sign of attempt, can you check the bus? Ross achieved. Can we check the vitals? Okay, the vital signs is 125 for over 80, the blood pressure. We have 100 uh, pulse rate and insert rate 98. On achieving return of spontaneous circulation or ROSC, apart from the usual post ROSC care, alert ICU that a suspect or a confirmed COVID case is coming to the ICU to prepare for the required care. So uh, we achieved the ROSC and patient is stable, send to arrange ICU bed in the room, and appointment we are shipping the patient. After achieving ROSC, there are certain considerations you need to take on transfer. The first consideration is the patient should be on bag valve ventilation with bacterial trap filter. Avoid disconnecting uh, and uh, suctioning during transfer. A maximum of three personnel should be transferring the patient. An additional person might be needed to clear the path for the transfer and push the buttons of the elevator. When connecting the patient to the ventilator in ICU, clamp the tube before disconnecting the bag to minimize aerosolization. Once connected to the ventilator, unclamp the tube. 